Let us look at the format of a ledger. Yeah, the debit, uh, the ledger has, like I said, two sides. This is the debit side, this is the credit side. Each side has a date, particulars, folio, journal folio, and amount. Date, particulars, journal folio, and amount. Whenever an account is debited, it's written on the debit side. When it's credited, transactions are entered on the credit side. If suppose I take the bad debts account, bad debt transaction, where we sold goods to Ahmad. We sold goods to Ahmad for 10,000. The entry was Ahmad's account debit to sales, 10,000. Then he paid us money. So we said cash account debit to Ahmad. He said 3,000. And we passed one more entry saying bad debts account debit since he was not going to pay to Ahmad. We said 7,000. Suppose Ahmad's account was to be prepared here. What is the method? Ahmad account debit. So we come, this is Ahmad's account. We come to the debit side. We put the date, whatever date of this transaction is. And what do we say? Ahmad's account is debited on account of sales. So we write here two sales. What is the amount? 10,000. This way Ahmad's account stands debited. Ahmad's account stands debited. The sales account I am not preparing here. Let us just see what else happens to Ahmad's account. It says here cash account debit to Ahmad. When I say cash account debit to Ahmad, it means Ahmad's account has been credited. So I come to the credit side. I don't know what was this date, maybe year 1 end, maybe it was 31st December. Yeah. So account is credited, I come to the credit side. And credit side, what will I write now? I will write the corresponding account, that is cash. By convention, I write by here. By cash. Amount of 3,000. Now, if I look at the two sides, I see there is a debit 10,000. There is a credit 3,000. A balance of 7,000. Which side is more? The debit side is more. This means, what does this mean? This means Ahmad has a debit balance or Ahmad owes me. There is an amount receivable from Ahmad amounting to 10 minus 3, 7,000. Similarly, the next transaction, maybe this was again the same time, year to end, year 1 end, 31st. What does it say? Again, Ahmad's account is credited for 7,000. Ahmad's account is credited for 7,000. So come to Ahmad's account, come to the credit side. On the credit side, by convention, we write buy. Buy what? Corresponding account, that is bad debt account. Buy by bad debt. How much? 7,000. With this, Ahmad's account is closed. I total up both sides and say the account is closed. This is how this, this transferring of information from the journal to the ledger, this is called posting. This is called posting. Just like we made Ahmad's account, we would similarly make sales account, we will similarly make cash account, we will similarly make bad debts account. When the debit side of, a bal of an account is more than the credit side, we say there is a debit balance. And when the credit side is more, we say it's a credit balance. Let us post some transactions and then we will understand how accounts are balanced, how accounts are totaled, 